Hey guys, it's Danica and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a grocery haul. I just went to the grocery store and I picked up these two bags for one week of groceries and everything in here cost me less than $40. I wanted to show you that being vegan does not have to be expensive and if you don't buy too many packaged food and stick to whole food, it can be quite affordable. So like I said, everything in here costs less than $40 and that's gonna last us for more than a week. I live with my boyfriend and we eat a lot of food. When I first went vegan, I noticed that shopping for groceries was actually much cheaper and that's definitely a plus. Also, I just want to point out that these aren't staples, they are more like a weekly groceries that we get every week. And I do have a lot of condiment here at home already, like I do have my staple, but we do have a lot of items in here that we can make a recipe and I'll give you some ideas as we go. Alright, so now let's get right into this grocery haul. I'll show you what I got. I went to two different stores for this. I went to the Superstore, which is a store in Canada that we have, and I love the Superstore so much. They have a lot of good prices. And I also went to a local store by my house. So I'll start with what I got from the Superstore. I got this bag of oats and oats are definitely a staple. I have oats every morning. You can also use them in many recipes. I like to blend them with almond milk and also some bananas to make some pancakes. I also got two boxes of pasta, some linguines and also some spaghetti. I thought I would pick up a bag of potatoes, they are in season right now. Also another tip to shop for cheap groceries, you need to shop in season and like I said, potatoes are in season so they're at their cheapest. I also picked up two cans of diced tomatoes. I like to use them to make chilies and also spaghetti sauce. You can make tomato soup. When you're vegan, Beans are a must. They are high in protein and they also have a lot of good nutrients and you can use them for so many things. I like to use them in cold salad. I also like to mash them up to make a sandwich. I like to use some black beans to make a chili. You can also mash them up and make a bean burger. Those are really good as well. I picked up a block of tofu and tofu is also really cheap. With one block I can make two different recipes for two people. I like to add them to stir fries and also make some tofu scramble. This is also another item that's really high in protein and also fairly cheap. What I like to do is shop in the discounted food section and I can usually buy a lot of things that are half price. So at the Superstore, they always have this rack with half off items and these cherry tomatoes were 50% off so they were $3.99 and I only paid $2 for them so that's a really good deal. Items that will go bad in a few days usually will end up in that rack but I like to buy them and eat them soon or either freeze them. I also got a head of broccoli and that was just $2 and broccoli is another really great food to always have around. Moving on to the second bag. I got a loaf of bread and that was fairly cheap, it was only $2.50. I like this bread because it is multi-grain and also it has 5 grams of protein for one slice. So if you make a sandwich, you have 10 grams of protein right there. It also has a lot of nutrients because it's made with whole grains. I like to have multi-grain bread instead of white bread. I also picked up two cans of tomato soup. I like to just have it as a tomato soup or make some bean balls and have them marinated in the sauce with a bit of rice. It's really good. These cans are always really cheap, about 70 cents or sometimes you can even get them for like 50 cents. I also picked up a carton of almond milk and I like to have almond milk always on hand. And like I said, I use it in oats, also in smoothies. I like to mix this with a bit of oats and bananas to make some pancakes and it's always good to have almond milk on hand. I love it. I picked up a bunch of bananas. Bananas to me are a staple. I never have enough. It's actually not a lot for me to buy just six bananas. I usually buy a whole bunch. 
I grabbed a head of romaine lettuce. This was just like 150 and it's good to add to salads or just have a little more greens into your diet. Next is this bag of carrots. Another great item to have on hand if you want to add it to stir fries or a spaghetti sauce or also a chili. Another staple is a bag of rice. I picked up this bag of rice. It was only like $2. Rice is pretty cheap. I always have rice in my house. Next, I got two green peppers because they were on sale. They were only 99 cents a pound, I think. So I got two and they were pretty cheap. And you can add them to spaghetti sauce again or stir fries or chilies. I think I'm gonna make a chili tonight. I keep talking about it and I really want a chili now. I also got a cucumber. This is really good as a snack. And I also got some mushrooms. My grocery store usually has them for 99 cents and I always pick one up. So this was everything you can buy at the grocery store for only $40. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed these kind of videos. If you did, don't forget to subscribe because I upload every single Monday. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!